Hi all, good day. Uh, in today's video, we are going to see how to install Visual Studio Code, which enables us to do uh, programming in AL, which is required for Business Central. So let's go and let's download the installer. You can always go into search engines and search for Visual Studio Code. I'll show you the options to go to that website where you can download it or maybe you should go to the download Visual Studio Code which gives you all the options that are available for the product. So as you can see you can download Visual Studio Code for Windows, Linux and Mac. So based on whatever operating system you are using on your computer you can choose what variant you want. We'll be talking or focusing only on Windows right now because I have a Windows machine. So there are two types of installer uh, under Windows. One is a user installer for a 32-bit or a 62-bit uh, client and a system installer. The way they are different is user installer is used on a uh, user-based operating system like Windows 7, Windows 8 or 10. Whereas a system installer where you want to install it for all the users which are using in the system more or less on a server environment. So just to save time I have downloaded both the EXEs and uh, as this is a server let's try first with the user setup and see why we should not use the user setup one on a server. So as you run the setup you get this warning which says that the user installer is not meant to be run as administrator. If you install VS code for want to install VS code that can be accessed by all the users who can access the server then you should download the system installer instead of the uh, user installer. So even if you want to say yes it will continue and that's the area that you'll understand why we should not use it. So if you see it's downloading or it's installing the Visual Studio Code into my local folder and that means that other users who are using the server will not be able to access VS Code. So you should always choose for a server environment the system installer where it's a shared environment where other people can remote in and do work whereas if it's only for your machine then you can use a user installer so as it is a server I'll using the server one the installation steps remain more or less same so that's not to worry you will accept the license agreement uh, it will by default point to your C program files uh, you'll get it a name now here are some options which people miss and click next and that's very important you want or you don't based on your need you can choose to have a desktop icon then uh, make sure that you check these options this gives you flexibility to right click on a file and then say open with code which will then pop up the visual studio code environment so if you have a AL file you don't actually have to click on the shortcut and then navigate to that folder to open it or even if a text file you want to uh, open it into VS Code you can just right click it and open it. So these two options enable that onto the folder and to the file menu on your right click options like this you will see when you click on a file you will see a open with option when you enable this and we'll see that in a bit. Then you click next more or less rest is a standard and we'll install it this will get installed pretty easily and then we'll see what else we need to be installing to start programming against a business central environment so as the installation is over let's launch the VS code click on finish it will pop up the VS code and I already had it so that's why it's opening it so let's see what get installed so this is our VS code that get installed by the installer and let's see about those options which I was talking about so when you click on a right click on a file it gives you this option to open with code or even for a folder it gives you an option to open with code code so that will pop up your uh, VS code and you don't have to open it and then navigate to the folder where you want to go you can directly do it from the menu where you are 
in the windows so the bare minimum requirement to start coding for business central is you need to add an extension in vs code and when i say word extension uh, don't relate it to extension to business central extension is a generic term which uh, consider extension as adding more power to one existing tool so visual studio code is not only built for doing development for business central it is flexible you can choose what programming language you want to use uh, there are multiple options that we'll see and based on that you can train your vs code that what you want to code against and it'll it'll, it'll configure it based on your requirement so using this menu and we can talk about other options later you can choose this last option called extension and as i said extension is a generic term which extends the functionality of of any software so in this case we are trying to use vs code for al programming so we need to make sure that we teach our vs code that we want to use u for al programming so for that there is an extension for vs code called al language and that comes from microsoft this version may differ based on when you are looking at this video and when you are trying to install this gets updated all the time from Microsoft and you choose install as this extension for real language get installed after that the VS code as you can see here will understand that you want to code against AL and there are other options that you can use just to give you an example like if you want to use PowerShell you can do that there will be an extension for it or you want to use uh, write SQL queries so there will be a SQL uh, server MS SQL or uh, if you want to use it for Java there will be an extension for for that so it's an open uh, it's an open platform which you can train what you want to code against so now it understand that you want to use it for real programming so from now on you can start using it for real programming so that's all for this video if you want more uh, videos which can explain uh, the problem that you are facing please put it as comments Pl please put your views also about this video on the comments so that I can enhance videos as as per your need thank you for your time see you next time